morning. My name is Patricia Van Heron, and I'm a family law attorney. Today, I want to share with you some of the common myths about divorce. Many people believe they need a reason for divorce or that the person who wanted to get divorced has abandoned the marriage. This is false. California is a no-fault state. This means that you do not need to provide any justification as to the reasons for why you want a divorce. Irreconcilable differences are sufficient to allege in a divorce petition. Some people believe that if they do not respond to the divorce action or cooperate in the divorce, then the spouse will not be able to get divorced. This is also false. It only takes one spouse to request a divorce. The failure to respond or participate in the divorce process may result in your spouse being granted all of their requests pertaining to you finances such as the division of property or support, child custody, and may also subject you to paying the attorney fees and costs for your spouse. Therefore, it is imperative that you respond and participate in the divorce process. Some people believe that when a spouse does not pay child support, they are not entitled to visitation with the children. This is also false. If a non-custodial parent does not pay child support, that does not mean the spouse can withhold visitation. The reverse is also true. If a spouse withholds visitation, that does not authorize the other spouse to then withhold child support. Another myth is that only women get spousal support. Spousal support is determined based on the income or earning capacity of the parties and the length of the marriage. The courts will award spousal support to men if their wife has been the breadwinner of the family. Many people believe that if they can show that a spouse has committed adultery, they will not have to pay spousal support or they will get more in community property or that the spouse will have to pay for all of their attorney fees. This simply isn't true. California is a no-fault state. Therefore, the court does not penalize a spouse for having an affair and it also has no impact on child custody or visitation. Some people erroneously believe that the mother will always receive more custody than the father, or that the children are always put into the care of the mother. The courts award custody on the best interest of the children. The courts will also consider which parent is more likely to encourage a relationship between the other parent and the child. In most cases, the courts want to see an equal parenting arrangement between the children and both parents. Some people think that they do not need a lawyer for their divorce. Unless your divorce is amicable and it doesn't involve any high value assets or children, you will probably benefit from a lawyer. If you have a contested divorce, high value assets, child custody issues, support issues, you simply don't want to cal navigate California law on your own. You may even get taken advantage by the other spouse, especially if your spouse has an attorney. So I highly recommend hiring an attorney, even on just a consulting basis, where an attorney can review your final document or documents you're filing to ensure that you're properly being presented, represented and that you're informed of any rights that you may be waiving. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me over an email or give me a call.